In this video, we'll be looking at the thread of written in JavaScript, so let's dive into the code. Hello friends, this is Codecraft, where you can learn code fastly and efficiently. I will create a simple JavaScript file here. I will name it test.js. Now what actually the thread of Ritter is? The spread of Ritter, also known as the rest of Ritter, is used to expand elements of an array of properties of an object. It allows you to spread element of property into places where multiple elements of property are expected. So let's see a practical example. I will create an array here. Let ARR or let for example numbers equal to I have created a basic array here now what will I do I'll simply use the here I'll simply call let and I will extract the values from this array so first the first value will be A and the second value will be B. I have also talk about this how to extract, how to destructure an array in my value. I have made a value on it. So if you don't know about this, I will give the link in the description. Check out this video also. Now I have to give an array from which I have to extract the values. Now this will store the first two values i mean the uh, one and two in the a and b respectively so if i simply log this a and b and open my terminal type node test.js so you can see one two now if i use something like this rest. And run this again. Sorry, here not. Control X. I will use here. Running this again. So you can see, I will also cut the NB and type rest here. Log the rest variable. Now you can see the rest variable, I mean the other variables. Or store in this rest variable you can also name it whatever this variable you want so if I give the other here I have to also give to other and I log this so you can see the 3 and 4 value has been logged now if I add another element 5 on this again so you can see I mean the rest elements or the values will be stored in this other variable this is how you can define a spread of early spread of letters will see the spread of letters this is how we can do this so i hope this will help help you understanding the spread operator so now you can also use this in a function if i simply command this And define a function function fx and use the spare operator here the spare operator will be defined as you have to add the three door first and you have to uh, add the uh, after that the variable name so if I see args now if I simply print the args So here now I can add multiple elements to this function as I want so if I run this simply and type 1 2 3 4 and I run this I have to sorry this is not Python because this is JavaScript so I have to log I will run this as you can see the all elements has been logged or exist as an array this is how you can use the spread operator you can also see the rest operator i hope you will understand if you have any question you can comment in the comment section and you if you like the video please press the like button also press the subscribe button thanks for watching the video